I am at the Wild Animal Park in Chittenango, New York. I am so excited because they have a giraffe! Hi guys, it's your society girl Jamie and today I wanted to do something a little different from my previous videos. I came across a really cool book. Make your own bucket list. How to design yours before you kick it. <laughs> uh, the book is by Andrew Gall and I picked it up for about three bucks. I wanted to try this instead of doing a about society girl i would rather have something very natural and you guys come along you know with our journey of having fun and um just enjoying life i just want to do random things so i kind of just flipped through the pages and i came across uh number three and number three is here and it's embark upon an epic animal adventure. So it's funny and strange that I actually open up to number three because last week Travis and I uh, made plans to go to an uh, animal park or a zoo in um, Chittenango, New York, and it's about 30 minutes away from us. And the reason why we went is because I am in love with giraffe. So we get there and, and you know, he's kind of shy and he's standing back. And I asked the handler, you know, has, how has he been? And is he having a good time? And she said, he's having a great time. He's a little shy, but I think he's full because he's eating carrots all day because people were visiting him. And we got there around noon. So I was pretty bummed that I didn't get a chance to feed Jace. Um, I, I just, I really wanted to touch him and, you know, kind of have that experience. But I did get a chance to see him and I know we will go back. The Wild is a zoo in uh, Chittenango, New York, which is about 20 minutes away from Syracuse, New York. And it is a brand new zoo, about five years old. The gentleman uh, purchased about 12 acres and actually adopted the first animal for his 10 year old son. And I don't know what the animal was, but I know that through that process, he decided to acquire uh, different breeds of animals and decided to open it up to the public so that we can all enjoy all the beautiful creatures that he has allowed to come onto his land. Uh, he has tigers and peacocks and zebras, American bears, uh, deer, goats, um, all these gorgeous, gorgeous creatures that I just had so much fun looking at. Uh, we were heading back towards the entrance of the park and a lady and gentleman had a baby kangaroo and I just melted and for fee you can hold him in his baby pouch and it was about 10 bucks um, there was no line so Chav and I decided to take a look 
and see if we can hold the baby kangaroo. And I just held him to my chest and he went to sleep. I just died. I, I melted. It was this beautiful, gentle, kind of heavy creature that just melted into my chest. Uh, if really no one's there, they don't mind that you just sit there for a while and hold them. Um, they did take pictures for us. And um, I also got a keepsake picture from them to put into a book. So back on my bucket list, they actually ask you to draw a picture of your favorite animal. And I originally was going to do the giraffe. I was actually going to put a picture of Jace in there. But I think I want to put a picture of Rex in there instead because that moment for me was um, life-changing. I don't think that uh, you can really touch a baby kangaroo every day. So for me, that memory and that part of my bucket list would have to be holding a baby kangaroo named Rex. Just don't touch any red, 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 red. There's a red, a red strip. I'm very oh, nervous. Just don't touch that. Touch anything that's not red. She's telling us what to do. Don't touch anything red. 